Help support the companies that support our community. So I've been working the last couple of weeks getting the mobile shop dialed in. I got the floor undercoated and we have a new bandsaw. So this is so nice. We're going to be able to process wood when we're out on the road. It's a Harvey bandsaw and it is a beast. So what I did is if you've been following along on Instagram, uh, I had some people ask me how I was putting this, uh, mounting this thing to the floor. So it didn't move around. So I went ahead and bolted it down to the floor. It's bolted all the way through. And then I built a frame around it and then put a piece of plywood over the top of that. So I've done some quick calculations and I'm like 99% sure that we can tip the mobile shop upside down and this thing will stay put. But it's a very nice bandsaw. Haven't had a chance to run it through its paces yet, but it is definitely well made. So I'm super excited about that. We, when we were in Raleigh, North Carolina, was talking to Stuart Kent, and he has a mobile uh, uh, classroom. He has about nine lays in there, and it's really, really nice the way he has it set up. And we wanted to do some more teaching out of this, so we talked to Harvey, and they set us up with a bandsaw and a nice little lathe to go in here so this is the t40 and so i built this cart for it so that we can roll it outside when we're uh when we're actually all set up this the cart laid and everything will come outside and that way you can we'll have it out there i won't it won't be so cramped in here and the motorcycle is going to go in the same spot it has been but i built the cart for it put the sharpening station on the end of it there and I made a little platform too, just has a handle on it, so that platform slides out. I built the lathe stand for my height, but if you're a little bit you know, shorter, that'll come out and you can stand on that. So that little riser about four inches. And I also built some tool racks for the side. So I had the um, all the tools in totes before, but we just don't have room for it anymore. So I built these little racks here just drilled in with Forstner bits and pockets and put in some dowels there so I haven't got the locks on it yet but that's all I need to do is put put those on and I went ahead and put one on each end of the trailer here so we'll get those all set up in there so super excited about this and we'll be able to roll the Harvey and the sharpening station right outside and just plug it in and so the mobile shop if you don't know is all powered by a generator so you just plug plug all the tools in and you can run just about everything the scout here i'm not going to move it very much so what i did is it has wheels on it but i bolted it right to the floor too so don't have to worry about strapping it down anymore um the bandsaw it's like i said it's i don't think it's going to go anywhere i kind of pushed on it pretty hard too and it doesn't seem to be moving but I did put a couple little tie down straps in there just in case I could just throw one underneath the the table here and just strap it down but it's it's definitely not not gonna move I don't think all right um so let me go around to the other side and I will show you the sharpening station it is super sweet and it uh really simplifies sharpening your gouges so this is the grinding station that I put on the on the cart here too. It fits perfectly on the end of it. This is the uh, Kodiak from uh, Wood Turner's Wonders, and this thing is slick. It has presets on it, so there's no more guesswork. You don't have to, you know, put a black mark on your on your tools. It's all set up. I will give you an in-depth. Uh, um, uh, show I'll do an in-depth video on this once we get out on the road and I can get it get it all out of here and set up but it's really slick all the presets are on there for all the angles it has a platform over here for doing like your um, skew and everything there's no more guesswork this is so if it's just kind of a pain sharpening and this eliminates all of that it's a little pocket here where your tool goes in has a uh, gauge there to, to measure out how far the 
actual goes out, little pad on it, fits in there, and you just set it up and put on whatever number you want. That's three different settings there. And then the plate over here has has uh, gauge or little uh, templates that go on there too. So it is super sweet. I'm super excited about that. And you can just be able to show anybody how to sharpen really quickly. But I'll do a, a full video on that too once we get it out and get a chance to move it. But really happy with how the cart came out. I just used some scrap plywood I had, had around here. Got it all dialed in. Got the lathe bolted down there. So we are set up. I just need to uh, do a couple more things. And we're leaving on Thursday morning. So we'll be out on the road soon. All right, we're getting this thing dialed in. So we're going to be in Boise, Idaho on the 28th at Woodcraft for their one-day show. So please stop by if you're in the area and sign the ceiling. And then after that, we're headed down to Salt Lake City for a couple of days to see some friends. And then we're headed straight to Seattle, and they have a three-day show up there at the Seattle Woodcraft. So please stop by if you're in either one of those areas. We need to get this ceiling signed and filled up. All right, we'll see you out on the road. Take care.